We ordered a do-it-yourself CRISPR kit. It just arrived in the mail and we are about to genetically alter a strain of bacteria. Let's get to it. First step is to create food for the bacteria. The food was a gelatinous substance called agar. Now we're going to microwave. The agar was poured onto a bunch of different Petri dishes to provide a nutrient source for the bacteria to grow on. Now we leave it overnight. The next morning, I practiced my pipette technique and then examined the agar plates that we left to set the night before. So two things happened when we were preparing our samples. The first one, we rushed it. It was too hot when we put it in. We ended up with a whole lot of condensation on there. The second one, we forgot about, and uh, it ended up congealing and got very lumpy. Regardless, it looked good enough for our experiment, so we carried on. We needed to make the bacteria cells what is called competent which means that you weaken the cell walls so that the bacteria is able to intake foreign DNA. Once the cell walls are weakened, we're ready to add the CRISPR components. Now the CRISPR. Adding the CRISPR components to the competent or weakened walled bacteria is called the transformation process. All right, that'll do. There are words you want to hear in science. That'll do. Five, four, three, all right, think you're better this. You put the CRISPR materials into synthetic DNA and trick the bacteria into thinking that this synthetic DNA is its own DNA. I'm gonna let this sit for four hours. We'll pour it onto our strep solution. After spreading the solution on our new plates, all that was left to do was wait. And then put the lid back on and leave it for 24 to 48 hours. It's now a week later and these are the results of our experiments. On one Petri dish, we've got some weird little white dots forming. So that looks pretty promising there. And on the other one, not quite sure what's going on. We've got some black mold, we've got some orange mold, we've got some yellow mold. Um, so not quite the result we were going for. In the instructions, it said that our experiment was successful if we get these little white dots growing. We didn't quite get there. Be scientifically rigorous with how you do it. I wasn't too scientifically rigorous. Uh, it's a good lesson for future. If I'm gonna do science, then do science properly. Next project I'm gonna tackle is the CRISPR kit where you make glow-in-the-dark yeast. You take a gene from jellyfish, put it in yeast, make it glow. Sounds pretty awesome, so check that out soon. And in the meantime, go to the-odin.com and see all of the kits that they have to offer.